Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the conversion from SR flip-flop to JK flip-flop. So these conversions are very important at the BTEC level. In the examinations also you may frequently see one conversion. Okay, it may be one flip-flop to another flip-flop. I will tell all the conversions in the videos in the coming videos. So definitely that will help you in the examinations. So conversion from SR flip-flop to JK flip-flop. Now we have an SR flip-flop. Now, so we have ESR flip-flop. So this ESR flip-flop now should work as JK flip-flop. It should be worked as JK flip-flop. So for that we need to convert the SR flip-flop behavior into JK flip-flop. But internally it should run SR flip-flop. So this is yes, this is R and Q, Q bar. Okay, of course clock is there, clock is not going to be disturbed, clock is common. And now internally we are having this SR flip-flop. The behavior of this SR flip-flop is going to be changed by applying extra circuitry here, extra circuitry and the inputs of this extra circuitry is J and K. J and K. This is the conversion from one flip-flop to another flip-flop methodology. So conversion methodology from one flip-flop to another flip-flop. So whom you are going to convert that is your main flip-flop and into what type you are going to convert those are the inputs for your flip-flop. Okay. So SR flip-flop you are going to convert into JK flip-flop. See me, why I am saying these many times because most of the students are getting confusion in this particular conversions which type of flip-flop we need to consider as input uh, we need to consider as a basic flip-flop okay uh, once if you are able to draw the truth table of this particular conversions then it is very easy automatically you can easily obtain the equations okay so you need to obtain the boolean expressions for s and r remember remember we should obtain Boolean equations, we should obtain Boolean equations for S and R, for S and R, conversion from SR to JK flip-flop, SR to JK flip-flop, so which you are going to convert, for that flip-flop you are going to identify the ex Boolean expressions for S and R, okay. That S and R will come in terms of G and K. S expression, expression for S will come in terms of G and K. And similarly, R expression will come in terms of K. Okay. Now, let us see the conversion table. Conversion table is very important. Conversion table. Okay. In the previous video, I explained the excitation tables along with the truth tables. That particular excitation table is very important in this conversion table. Okay, conversion table. So, conversion table consists of external inputs. External inputs. So, external inputs are nothing but to which you are going to convert. To which you are going to convert to JK flip-flop. So, those inputs are J and K. Next, present state. Next state. And the flip-flop inputs. What are the flip-flop inputs now? SR. And it is QN, QN plus 1. So you should be able to identify this particular table. Once if you identify this table and if you know the excitation table, then it is very easy. <coughs> then it is very easy to identify the conversion from one flip-flop to another flip-flop. Okay, so now we have J, K and this Q n. So take these three as combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Again 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 
1. Now, when j and k both are zeros, whatever the previous state, the output is same, so it is also 0. Here it is 0, 0 means output is 1, previous state. 0, 1 means 0, 0, 1 means 0, 1, 0 means 1, here it is also 1, 1, 1 means complement for the previous state, 1 and 0. And now, yes are, yes are flip-flop inputs, flip-flop inputs. So, those flip-flop inputs are yes are flip-flop inputs because we are going to convert yes are to jk. Okay, yes are is the available flip-flop with us. So, when present state is equal to 0, next state is equal to 0, the S and R are 0, don't care. This is from the excitation table. Excitation table of SR flip-flop. Okay, in the previous video, I have given you the explanation how to obtain the excitation table. If you have any doubt, you can go back and look at that video. Okay, and 1-1 one, one means... 1-1 one, one means it is don't care, 0. And similarly, 0-0, zero, zero, zero don't care. 0-1, zero, 0-1, one, zero, one, it is simply 1-0. 0-1, uh, zero, zero. One, zero means 0-1. Zero, 0-1 one. Zero, one means 1-0. One, 1-1 one, one means don't care, 0. And 0-1 zero, means it is 1-0. And 1, 0 means it is 0, 1. Okay. This is the excitation table of the SR flip-flop. Now, you need to identify the Boolean expression. How to write the Boolean expression for this S and R? We have to go back to the K maps. So, K map for yes. K map for yes. So, 8 inputs are the 8 values are there. So, 3 variable K map is sufficient. So, J, K, Q, N, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, here we have 0, don't get from the truth table. I am taking all this. 1, don't care, 0, 1. So, we can map this one with this one. So, S is equal to, here it is J and other one is Q, N bar. So, yes, Q, S is equal to J, Q, N bar. And similarly, K map for R, second input. Consider again. So, J, K, Q, N, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And in terms of R, we are having 1, 1 here. It is 0, 0, don't care, 0, don't care whenever it is necessary, then only you can map, otherwise remaining cases, you no need to disturb that, these two. So, yes, R is equal to K and Q N. Okay, now S is obtained by taking and operation between J and Q N bar and R is obtained by taking and operation between K and Q N, past outputs. So, the conversion circuit a conversion logic diagram is like this. So, we are having SR flip-flop. Yes, R. The input for the S is JQN bar. JQN bar, is it? Yes, JQN bar. So, that's why take AND gate. Give the output of AND gate to the S. And one input is j q n bar means see here it is q n it is q bar so this is q n bar and next for r it is j q uh, k q n right k q n so it is k and QN means this is the conversion circuit, conversion logic diagram from 
SR to JK flip flop. Now SR is acting as JK. So if you take the entire logic circuit in one box, so take this entire logic circuit in box, then you will be having JK flip flop. So JK flip flop, it is having two inputs JK and Q and Q and bar. Of course, clock is there. Clock is also there in the original circuit. So this is the clock signal. That clock signal also you can take the clock signal also outside clock. Okay. So in this way, you can convert one flip flop to another flip flop. So few more examples you will see in the next videos. Thank you.